Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're back with another sponsored post from Withings and their Body Plus scale that you can see on screen here. These are scales that I use to manage my weight, and we've talked a little bit about my weight loss adventure that uh, I completed back in 2011. I dropped about 40 pounds, and I maintained that weight uh, thanks to the scales here and the data that it gives me, and that data helps guide my decision making for exercise and diet and all the other stuff that goes into trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Now these scales cost about $100 normally, but right now if you uh, go on to the link down below in the video description, you can save 20% by using the code LON20, so the scale will cost you about $80. And in this video, we're going to walk through setting up the scale getting multiple users on it, assigning the right data to the right people, and understanding some of the information that it puts back into your devices so you can make the proper decisions. And we're going to step through all of that in just a second. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure, this is a paid sponsorship from Withings, and they are also reviewing and approving this video before it gets uploaded for accuracy. So let's get into it now and see how this thing gets set up. All right, so we have batteries in the scale and it powered up and it's asking us to go to go.withings.com. And what it's going to do is have you install the HealthMate app on your mobile device, whether it's an iPhone or an Android phone. And what you're going to do is tap on sign up if you don't already have one of these scales. I'm going to select scales here and tell it that I have the Body Plus scale. Uh, now, if the scale doesn't have this message on board, there is a switch on the back that you just have to hold down for three seconds and uh, the scale will reset into pairing mode. Uh, so we've done that here already. We're going to tap on next and it's going to now look for our scale and hopefully it will find it. And when it does, it will connect up to the scale and uh, pair the phone up with the scale that we are setting up. And it detected that scale successfully. Uh, you can see here now that the uh, device is recognizing that it has met up with our phone here. We're going to click on next now and create an account, which I'm going to do right now. And when we're done with this account creation, we'll jump into the app and do our first weigh in. All right, so before we get started, we do have to give it some information about our height and weight so that it can make some calculations. So I'm about five foot nine or so. So I'm just going to put that in here on the uh, height. And then my weight right now is about 153. I wanna be a little bit lower than that, but I'm okay with it at the moment. I'm going to click on next now. It's going to do some processing and it will then move us along to the next step in this process here. Now you will have the option to set up a Wi-Fi connection. And I would suggest you do that because if your phone is not near the scale, you might miss some of the readings. So if you connect it up to your Wi-Fi network, every time you step on the scale, irrespective of where your phone is, your data will get synchronized up and you can keep track of your weight over time. Uh, but again, you don't have to do the Wi-Fi if you don't want to. But we're gonna do that real quick. Now what it's going to do is detect the two gigahertz Wi-Fi networks in my home. I actually separate my five and twos from each other. And I'm just going to select that one and I'll type in my Wi-Fi password and get the scale up and connected to my network. Now the next option here is to personalize the scale and have it uh, select the things that we wish to track. So you can see right here by default, it obviously gives you the option to record your weight. That is why you would buy a scale in the first place. You also have the ability to track your weight trend. And you can see I can move these things around because after it takes a reading, it will display all of this information on the scale so I don't have to load up the app to get the results. And you'll see that when we step through everything in a few minutes. So you can see it does the weight trend, the fat mass, the body water, the weather, and then it goes to bone and muscle mass. But maybe I want my muscle mass here right underneath the fat mass uh, just so I get that information a little bit sooner. And maybe I want the weather here at the bottom, but it will actually tell you what the weather is going to be uh, while you're stepping on the scale in the morning, which is pretty helpful there. Uh, the BMI is the calculation of your body mass, so maybe I want to move that up a little bit. Again, you can configure this any which way you want and come back to it a little bit later too, if you desire. So we're going to click on next here and it's going to finish up configuring the scale for us. Uh, so it will be transmitting that information back and forth and now our setup is complete. And now we'll get a little tutorial about how to set up weight goals and uh, get everything going there. So I would like my target weight to be uh, maybe 150. So I'm going to select that here on the slider and get that dialed in. And you can see my current weight that I told it is 153. I'm going to click next. 
and then it's going to ask me at what pace do I want to lose to get to that goal. And I think I'm going to be a little more conservative here and maybe say uh, maybe a quarter pound a week or something here. So let's go to point two and click save there. But you can, of course, change that any which way you want. I'm going to click next here. And now we're going to get on the scale and take our first reading. Now, the scale needs you to have yourself barefoot because the readings that it takes for your bone composition, muscle mass, and fat uh, do require a very low, low, low voltage electrical signal to get transmitted through your body, and it measures how that signal returns back to the scale as it goes through your feet. But if you have socks or shoes on, it's not going to work. So let me get over there and get the scale set up for our next shot, and we'll step on it and get our first reading. So I'm going to step on the scale. Remember, I am barefoot. I also have my clothes on here, so I may weigh a little bit more than usual. Now, one thing you're going to see on the uh, digital readout here are some arrows. It might be a little bit hard to see with the angle, but as I, for example, kind of lean over to my left here, you can see it is blinking in the lower left of the screen because it wants me to balance myself back out and get a very accurate reading. It will not actually give me a reading until I'm holding still and everything is balanced out. So you can see we got 157.9. And now what it's going to do is give us a readout of all of the uh, body composition that we looked at a few minutes ago in the app. The water percentage, the fat percentage, the BMI, the muscle mass, and all that stuff will get displayed on screen here and also sent back to the app. And of course, we get our weather report for the rest of the day, a very chilly day it is. So let's step off the scale now and run back and see what the app tells us. Okay, so here we've got the results of my weigh-in. Now you'll notice the one we just took is a little bit more than the other two. And the reason is that I was holding a keyboard to control my video switcher and a phone in my hand, which added about a pound to my weight. So if that result here is something we don't want to have included in the rest of our data, I can just swipe it here to the left and de delete it. It's going to ask me if I want to do that because it will permanently delete that record and it will be gone. Now these other two readings I took with my clothes on, but no other things in my hand, so I'm a little bit heavier than usual. Uh, but if I jump into this, you can see it's got a chart of uh, all of the readings that it took there. So we can see what my weight is. I can jump over to the body composition here as well. And this is right now in pounds. I'll show you how to change that back to percentage. Uh, so it looks like my body fat is a little bit on the high side for what is normal for my uh, weight and age. Uh, my body water is right in the middle there, and my muscle mass is pretty much in the middle as well. Now, this will chart out, of course, over time, so you can see uh, how you do over time. And I'll show you some examples from my other phone, which has about a year and a half, two years worth of data in it now, so you can get a feel for uh, what this will look like over time. But it does give you a really good idea as to where you are at. And you can also drill into these a little bit further if you want to see it uh, kind of laid out on the page a little bit easier. Uh, you can get all of that information separately. You can even uh, put some notes here by saying maybe uh, all of my <laughs> clothes on, and that will record itself with that record forever. So if you wanted to go back and see exactly what happened that day, uh, that note will be there. Now within the app, if you want to change the body composition measurements from pounds to percent, you can do that and change the unit of measure as well to different systems. So if you go over to profile here, and then in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see a gear icon for settings. We're going to tap on that. We're now going to go over here to units. And if we jump in there, you can see right now weight is set to pounds, but I can change it to kilograms, or I believe that's stone pounds there. I can also change my height from uh, the imperial system to the metric system. I can change miles to kilometers if I wish, and I can also change the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And then if I want to make that change to having body composition read in percentages, I can just click on this. And then if I back out of settings and go back over to my timeline and we take a look at my body composition, uh, you can see now we're getting percentages up for those measurements versus pounds. And it's really up to you how you want to do it. And it's also very easy uh, to jump back in and change it back to where you had it before. Now, one of the other cool things about the system here is that you can have multiple people in your family all recording their weights. And even if you and a family member weigh about the same, there's a way to assign the measurements to a specific user. So let's go ahead and set up my twin brother here and see how this works. 
So we're going to jump back to the app here and we're going back to the profile setting on the lower right hand corner. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and add another user. And what I'm going to do here is create my twin brother named Don. He doesn't really exist, but we're going to have him exist in this video. I will also say that he is a male. He was born on, let's say, February 20th, 1976. And then we'll click next here. I'll put in his height as the same as mine. And then I'll also have him listed at 153 pounds. Very similar to what you would go through when you create your own user. Uh, now, of course, it wants an email address for Don, but if we don't want to uh, do that right now, we don't have to. If you do put in the email address, it'll invite him to set up his own account. Uh, so we'll skip that, and now you can see that Don is set up on my phone. Now, if I walk back over to the scale, uh, it's going to ask us which user to assign that weight to. So let's take a look at that. All right, so let's step on the scale once more, and this time what's going to happen is after I get my weight leveled out here, it's going to ask me who to assign the weight to. You'll see it's got Lon and Don here. Now, if I lean to the right, it will assign it to Don, and if I lean to the left, it would assign it to me. And now that weight is recorded, and now Don's got his own profile, I've got mine, and as long as I lean in the right direction, it will record the weight to the right person. Now, right now, Don does not have his own HealthMate account, uh, but we can view his information separately inside of mine. So if we go over here to Dashboard at the bottom, and select Don, you can see it will limit the results just to what we took under Don's account. And if I jump back here to my name, it will give me all of the other readings that I've taken under my name when I leaned in my direction there. Uh, but if Don does set up his own HealthMate account, all of this stuff will get sent automatically to him and he'll have a separate experience just like I would have. Now, if you have two family members that don't weigh anywhere near each other, you won't see this option. It only asks you who it is when your weights are very close. So if my daughter jumps on the scale, for example, or my wife, it will assign these automatically based on the weight experience that the scale has with them. It's only when you get close, like me and my twin brother here, uh, that you'll be asked to assign it to a user. Now, HealthMate also works with other applications. And if you go to your profile, and scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you can see that there are other apps that we can share data with. So for example, I can use Google Fit here on Android. I can have the step data from my Android watch get imported into HealthMate so I can track that along with my weight. And then I have the ability to export data out of HealthMate, like my weight. If I'm using their blood pressure cuff, I can send my blood pressure out heart rate from uh, the fitness watches that WithThings makes, the uh, daily steps from those watches and other activities can get exported as well, a two-way data synchronization here. It's also possible to send data to your medical provider too, and then with IFTTT, you can do a whole bunch of other stuff as well. We talked about that uh, in the last video. So there's a lot of connectivity here that uh, can allow you to really make the best out of all the different devices you're using to track your health, and there's a good chance that uh, the HealthMate app here will support that. Now, one thing you might want to take a look at is the Programs section here in the middle. Uh, this gives you some little applets that you can install to compete with your friends here with the leaderboard. Uh, if you are pregnant, they've got a great pregnancy tracking application that helps you understand uh, the entire journey from start to finish and what you can expect in each month. Uh, they have things for improving your sleep. Uh, there's some meditation stuff, and they add things to this all the time. So this will always update with new things that you can try out. Uh, this is one I'm actually going to install for myself called Better Body, uh, which helps you better understand the data that you are collecting from the Body Plus scale. And it gives you a lot of good insights as to what you, you are looking at, first of all, but also how you can take what you're learning from uh, the data that you're collecting and make a positive impact on your health. So it tracks your weight, it'll give you recommendations based on every weigh in that you do, and they want you to keep with it for about eight weeks here. And I think some of these actually will push notifications to you to nudge you to actually get on the scale and weigh yourself. So if you're trying to develop the discipline, uh, some of these programs in the Programs tab are definitely worth taking a look at. Let's boot up my iPhone now so I can show you some of the things that I've been doing with the app over the last year and a half or so. So here is what about two years worth of data looks like. This is from my iPhone here. And you can see that my weight is pretty much in the middle of what is healthy, but I am trending up. I was 
uh, at around the 150 mark for a while, but over the last year or so, I've been trending a little bit higher. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been trending up a little bit higher than that. Uh, so I definitely want to make sure I am keeping my calories under control. Now, one thing that I did incorrectly over the course of a long time here, as you can see, is not standing on the scale long enough for those readings to get read by the scale, those composition readings. And that's something that you definitely want to take the extra 20 seconds to do, is stand on that scale barefoot at the same time every day so you can get a reading at the same point of the day every day so you can start to track your trending. And if you stop doing that, of course, you're not going to have data to maybe pick up something that's happening. So you can see my uh, body fat has increased quite a bit here uh, over the last year, and I need to deal with that. Uh, also, my muscle mass has gone down a bit as well. So there's some things that I need to be working on. And I started uh, walking a little bit more with my dog, which is uh, putting a little bit more uh, exercise on the legs there. So you can see my uh, muscle mass is beginning to increase a little bit. I also started doing a little bit more fitness activities with my arms as well. So I've been trying to get a little bit of exercise done here to level things back off again. And the older I get, of course, the harder I have to work at keeping this weight uh, and this is one of the things that the app can be helpful with is to chart progress. If I'm seeing weight gain on the muscle mass and seeing weight reduction on the fat mass, then I know I am doing well and it's more data than a normal scale might provide to you. And again, the trend lines here are something really important to keep track of. So you really get a lot of great data here with these scales. It's very helpful to me as I try to maintain the weight that I lost eight years ago. And it's something that has been immeasurably helpful to me in trying to keep my weight on track here. So that's going to do it for this look at setting up and using your Withings Body Plus scale. Don't forget you can get 20% off up until July 17th, 2019 if you use my code LON20 at the link that you see on screen and down below in the video description. A great price for a really useful scale. So definitely take advantage of this if you have been looking for ways to get more information about the composition of your weight. And it's a great way to maintain your weight, lose it or gain it. You can get all the information you need uh, from one of these scales. And it's something that I've been very happy with uh, over the last two years in making sure that my weight stays about where I want it to be. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I know a bunch of you bought these scales from my last video. So I'd love to hear your experiences so far. And until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters, The Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.